in Dorner's manifesto, he claims to have a 50 caliber, a 50 caliber rifle, a sniper's rifle. You know, he uh, he doesn't. Uh, he he was an expert marksman in the Navy, but uh, there's no indication that he took sniper training. But um, what's really curious about this is that a, a 50 caliber rifle, they cost $5,000, $10,000. I'm going to guess that he's got a Barrett, which is, you know, that's easily a $10,000 rifle. Yeah, that's like the... Um, the standard in sniper rifles today, 50 caliber Barrett. Yeah, easily uh, a Barrett rifle will shoot through, um, it'll shoot through you know, bulletproof vests. You know, it'll go through armor. Uh, 50 caliber goes through cinder block and makes kill shots. But um, this is why it's really curious that, that he had the money for this. Oh, he also mentions that he has uh, Class 3 weapons, which is uh, to say that he has full, uh, fully automatic weapons. And uh, he claims that he got them through some process that it was so very easy. And um, I don't know, he, he made it out to seem like it was anonymous or something like this. But um, I don't know, it's a... Uh, it's unheard of. You know, it's like, um, I don't know how anybody goes about easily getting uh, a $15,000 rifle that you have like a, a six month wait while um, it's even longer than that now. I think they're out to like two years or something. It's something ridiculous that you got to fill out the, the ATF paperwork and then they get around to it whenever they do. And you know, then um, you know, they'll, they'll approve the transfer of your fully automatic weapon to you. Anyhow, uh, this is at NavyReserve.com benefits pay.html for a lieutenant with 10 years of service the uh, the yearly drill pay plus the yearly training pay is $14,606 now they're, they're making it out like this was a fresh wound, his, his little situation with uh, the LAPD. After a bunch of reading, you know, I, I've read maybe 10 different articles on this uh, situation and the Dorner uh, character, but um, his, his tricks with the, with the LAPD, he was fired in 2008. He had only uh, been a cop for three years. And then he was fired. Uh, in 2010, he was uh, he was denied uh, his. Um, you know, he was seeking to be uh, let back into the police force. But um, there's no mention. There's no mention of him having any other job. They just say, well, he was a Navy reservist. Two days after he got out of the Navy reserves with an honorable discharge, he apparently went on a shooting spree and killed innocent people. Because they were related to dirty cops. And this is, uh, this is the pay of the job that he had, $14,606 per year. No mention of any other job, because why? Because he's a spy, he's working for the CIA, obviously. But how do you afford a 50 caliber rifle and an, an automatic weapon? Uh, actually, I think even in his, um, in his manifesto, the Dorner manifesto, that uh, he claims to have numerous automatic weapons. How do you afford a 50 caliber rifle, numerous automatic weapons, 
on $14,000 per year. $14,606 per year. This false flag terrorism is pretty bold. You know, but um, you know, one other thing that's worth mentioning is that he was a spy. That's what his job was in the Navy. He was a Navy spy. He went to the Navy Marine Intelligence Training Center. This is um, an MITC. Navy and Marine Corps Intelligence Training Center. So he was a trained spy. That's what, you know, what, what intelligence means, is that they train you to spy on people. They train you to... Uh, the, the information that, that you take in, that it will make sense to you, and that uh, you will be able to come up with a plan to murder the people, which is you know, what the military does as they're spying on people, is they're coming up with plans to murder those people. Yeah, you know, so it wouldn't surprise me at all that he was on the CIA payroll, you know, since um, you know, since a couple years ago. I wonder what he did after he got fired as a cop, you know, uh, making only fourteen thousand dollars a year uh, in the Navy Reserve. You know that he would, um, you know, he would probably get some type of, you know, um, he he would probably get some type of job, you know, like either. Uh, he would be retail management or, or something like that. You know, maybe um, maybe if when he when he got fired as a cop, he uh, he went to work for like you know, some type of security firm or something, then he wouldn't have been tempted to take the job with the CIA. But um, I don't know. Maybe maybe when he was working as a cop, he was working with the CIA. You know, this little fourteen thousand dollars per year, that was like bonus cash. You know that like the Navy probably they they probably didn't even you know uh, demand much of him. That they knew he was working for the CIA. You know his command. Yeah. I don't know. You want to know something else about this? Is um. You do this search in, in Google Images. Donor, D-O-R-N-E-R. -E My computer is gonna respond any day now. I got a quad core processor. Okay, we are making it there. Oh, the donor manhunt deputies investigated reported sighting in San Diego. Oh, he's heading to Mexico. Look at this. Are these the images that, if they weren't pushing this guy, are these the images that they would be showing us at the top of Google, CIA Google, You know, if they uh, if they really wanted to prosecute this guy and to to make him out to be the bad guy, you know, they're gonna give us all his friendly smile. You know, like all of the top four images, they're all you know this guy with his great big smile on.
you know, maybe it's part of building the profile that, that people that smile a lot, they're suspects now. Yeah. You know what? Um, what the, the police are turning this into is they're turning this into assault in the general citizenry. When you aim a ready, a ready gun at somebody, you know, that it has been, you know, cocked, uh, you know, loaded, cocked, and that, you know, there's a bullet in the chamber. When you're pointing that gun at somebody, it's called assault. Yeah, you know, that is assault. Just pointing a loaded gun at somebody is assault. And the the police are now assaulting just everybody. Everybody on the street in in California. They're pointing their guns at them. They're ready weapons. I'm gonna show you a video here. Not only that, but there's been two incidents. It's a massive manhunt for a man described as armed. There's been two incidents where they shot up women in trucks that had vague resemblance to Dorner's truck. One of the trucks wasn't even nearly the color. Yada yada, whatever. Oh, it's one of the corrupt cops. LAPD. There it is. Look at this. They're pointing guns at everybody. Oh, you're gonna drive down the street? Assault! How about that? You wanna get assaulted? Just go ahead and go anywhere. Yeah, this is some viciously obnoxious propaganda that they're doing with this Chris Donner situation.